Hi and welcome. I'm Joko and joining with me always is the lovely Haley. Hi. This is the Anna Munchies podcast where we talk about life and food, Southern California from here in LA all the way to San Diego and in between. Flip on that nerd switch, talk about anime, gaming, and Haley's specialty, K-pop. Weep. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So thank you again for joining us. Um, as always, leave a like, subscribe. You, I don't know if you can comment, but if you want to comment on the videos that we do for these ones, feel free to leave a comment, uh, follow, whatever it is you need to do to give us your support. We appreciate it all the time. And as always, where do we start with, Haley? Food, 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 food. So with food it is, <laughs> and we're going to be kind of in... It's, Technically, we're talking about the one on Arcadia, so we're still in San, San Gabriel Valley, the 626 area, but there's plenty of locations around Southern California mm-hmm. and also Northern California. So yes. all over California, Japanese cheesecakes from Uncle Tetsu. Yes. So good. Yes, it is. It so, melts in so your good. mouth good. So you Literally. It literally melts in your mouth, especially when it's like kind of... Because you could enjoy it at like so many different temperatures. Yeah. You want it colder, like room temperature. My personal favorite is room temperature. Yeah, room and temperature. And then you can also warm, warm it up. It. It's good. So you may have heard me say Japanese cheesecake. That's right. Not just a regular it's totally cheesecake. totally different it's from not like what you're American imagining. Cheesecake. If you're from America like like mm-hmm. me growing up. I don't know. How, was it in Australia the same thing? Yeah, type in of Australia. Same? So I guess so like Western type Western of cheesecake, cheesecake. Mm-hmm. which is a nice, thick, creamy pieces of cheese. Yeah, like it's cream made cheese, with cream cheese, 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 yeah. And then the graham cracker crust. No, no, no. It's not that at all. It's different. And if you never had it before, if you're Filipino, I will say if you had mamon, <laughs> then you've, you've come pretty close. It's, it's kind of similar so to that. So it's like um, instead of your normal typical cheesecake, it's made. It's a cheesecake itself. Yeah, it's called cheesecake. But it's lighter. It's from Hokkaido, yes. correct, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like Hokkaido. a Hokkaido-style cheesecake. And it's more like a spongier souffle. Yeah, the texture, type of texture is very similar to souffle, and like they even said, like a chiffon cake. Right. So it, it's souffle. a mix of all that. It's super light, which is totally very different airy, from uh, yeah. regular Western cheesecake, which is like heavy, <laughs> heavy, thick. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that yeah, shit too. Yeah, of course. But uh, I love Japanese style cheesecake as well. Super light, fluffy. I literally could eat the whole cake probably in one sitting. Yeah, it's if super. If Haley doesn't watch me, <laughs> yeah, it's super light. That's why, like, you don't get full easily because it literally just like melts and disappears in your mouth. And it's cool because they always stamp the top of it, like yeah, um, with Uncle Tetsu. with Uncle with, like an emblem of Uncle Tetsu himself, I guess. Yeah, and then like Uncle Tetsu is just like one Japanese brand. Right. There's like many other ones there's that are very so similar. Many, like, there's e- so many. So even many in them. Japan, they have like different ones. I don't know the names, but right. it's not Uncle Tetsu. Right. It's not specifically Uncle Tetsu. It's just like one of those. It's just another uh, name brand, like yeah. one of the bakeries. Yeah. Um, but it's nonetheless still super good. It's so good. It's um different also, aside from the texture of it and how it looks, is um, you know how normal, typical Western cheesecakes like you get a lot of different variety of flavors yeah. and it's usually toppings and like mixed like, like stuff on top. And yeah, so this one is more simple because you don't they don't like they have the regular one, yeah. the original. Original. But they have a few other flavors, but these other flavors it's not like they're actual toppings. It's like the whole cake. mixed into the actual yeah. cheesecake. So the whole cheesecake itself is like that flavor and yeah. it's not super strong no it's always like very subtle light flavors yeah and they're really nice colors too like so one of my favorites is strawberry it's pink it's like a nice little light <laughs> pink um there's obviously chocolate chocolate there's and coffee coffee typical matcha. matcha yeah and then they have a new one we haven't tried it yet My, uh ube so oh, it's yeah, purple there's an ube one too mm-hmm. so it's like a nice l- little light purple and like i said the these flavors are super light. They're not heavy at all. No. Like they're not they don't overwhelm like the flavor of the actual cheesecake. So you you get a taste of that actual like Japanese Hokkaido style cheesecake yeah. still. It's so good. Like when he warms it up, it becomes so like soft. I just want to like put my face on it cuz it's so soft. Maybe one day I will we'll buy one <laughs> just so you can do that. They're not that expensive too. They're almost like $10 each yeah. kind of thing. And it's a good a good size. Mm-hmm. So we'll watch Haley dump her face into um, <laughs> literally a a no, no, I don't cake. want to do it like that. I just want to just like it's like a pillow. We'll watch Haley That's sleep soft. on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, check it out. Uncle Tetsu is just one of many. There's so many here 
around Southern California, if you probably just look up Japanese cheesecake. Yeah. But this is the one. This is but actually one like, of the first ones we had. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so Tetsu. Uncle Tetsu is our OG uh, Hokkaido cheesecake. Check it out. If you never tried it, just look it up. There's probably some type of Japanese style cheesecake nearby wherever you are. Yeah. I think they even like sell it in like Japanese supermarkets. Right. It might not be it's as not good. It's not as good probably. But it's probably still like similar. So check it out. Look around. You'll, you'll, you're you'll bound to find it. There has to be some nearby mm-hmm. everyone, at least now at this point. And with that said, mm-hmm. where are we going? Going to K-pop talk. <laughs> I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> hey, Korea? Like, that's why I'm the driver. I'm going to Korea. <laughs> we're, I'm driving this car because <laughs> just to keep Haley on track. And mm-hmm. yes, it's K-pop. Yes. K-pop talk with Haley. And it's her specialty, as always, <laughs> if you can guess. <laughs> BTS. BTS. Yes. So, what are we talking about this time? So, I thought we would talk about a variety show that um, BTS does. It's called Run BTS. Right. And um, what's so exactly? What is a variety show? So like, in Korea, or like I guess in like Asian culture in general. Yeah, a lot, like all over Asia. Yeah, like they have Japan. these things called variety shows, and I guess it includes like either a celebrity, a group, K-pop group. Um, in this case. In this case, it's a K-pop group, and then they get them to do various like games, skits, competitions. It's really fun. Yeah. It's so it's just pure the competitions are funny yeah it's like all for entertainment basically you would love like especially if you like specific groups or artists to watch them in these variety shows you're yeah. gonna just have a blast i feel it's like hilarious and it's fun i feel like a lot of people would know running man because they do that's like the, that's like big the one. yeah a really big one in korea that does variety shows for like all different celebrities and k-pop and groups. it's been running for a while it's been right? running for a long time like they've had even up to big bang yeah like a long time ago i made him watch the big bang episode that was hilarious it's so funny so they're so d- you get to see them do like the dumbest shit ever and to, <laughs> i think the coolest part about these kind of shows you get to really see also the personality yeah. of each member yeah like i i love day sun <laughs> he's yeah. hilarious like <laughs> I mean, he out of all of them, like, I'll be honest, he's not probably, like, the prettiest looking or a prettiest boy looking, <laughs> especially compared to, like, GJ GD and Top. And top yeah. ta- like, and it's just hilarious, yeah, though. Yeah, he's Like, so how he is as a person. Funny. Like, you would want him to be your friend. He would always be cracking you up. I right. Think. So, he's, like, it was just really cool to watch. And it it's the same way because there's been a lot of other artists and a lot of groups and I I watched the black pink one. Oh yeah, one. black pinks. Oh man, the one at the water Love park is so funny. <laughs> Poor I Jenny. Mean, we'll probably get into all these episodes. Like, I feel like this is what I want to do, Haley. I want to be able like because there's not always K-pop news no. week after week, right? Yeah. But there's variety shows. Yeah, every week, week after week. <laughs> yeah. So if anything, like we'll talk about past ones. We'll try to like our favorite ones. Our maybe. favorite ones, the ones that like you know are so good that like it's stuck in our minds, mm-hmm. in our in our hearts. Yeah. And um, also like we won't be reviewing the n- most recent ones every time. Yeah. Because we don't really watch it every time. We, yeah, like, because watch they've it been airing for a long time already. Yeah, we watch like the older so ones. And like we said, like uh, Running Man is the OG one, but we're talking about Run BTS. Yeah. So this is specifically which is just for BTS, BTS. like BTS. Only. I guess Big Hit. Made their own yeah. variety show specifically, just, just BTS. all BTS, and you follow them doing crazy stuff, and funny stuff. Run BTS has been ongoing since the group was formed, so, so it's, it's been, been like been seven out there for years. A while. And I think they're on episode a hundred and thirty that's something insane. right now. The fact yeah. that's like already that hundred mm-hmm. thirties to yeah. say. Yeah, I mean, like they're not doing it weekly because, like, obviously when they had concerts and stuff, they stopped. Filming, oh, because they're busy. But it's been going right. on for seven years. But they've had some pretty recent ones, actually. Yeah, like yeah, the most recent one was the water one, but we haven't, we haven't watched, watched that it yet. yet. But it's I'm, like Return to the Water Park because yeah. there was an episode <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. Haley made me watch in the beginning. In I think the, it was like episode twenty or something. like still in double digits, yeah. like early double digits, and they're in the water park. And like I said, like. After watching it, it's entertaining. So it's like you're not it's not just watching like celebrities, you know, on a show like we're used to here in America they're, yeah. where they're just interviewed or like maybe it or people think of sometimes like uh, reality shows. Yeah, it's not no, a no. reality show. It's literally an entertain like a comedy sketch entertainment television show where like you just follow them and watch them 
do like silly stuff do like uh, yeah, competitions uh, with like hilarious like jokes and types of d- stuff yeah, they have to the, do um the staff members for bts are the ones that make up the games right so them. the actual staff people that you know live and work with bts who know them and bts knows them well too yeah like it's they make, the they make up all the it's different super challenges creative though it's hilarious Even what they Pink think has of. one too their yeah they do show. yeah and i mean like i said there's just a lot of different groups probably have their own thing mm-hmm. but obviously if you're an army this is, is uh one. this is the one that you need to check out if you if you're like a newer one or even if you've been an older army and actually have heard about it or not even heard about it yeah just and, check and it you out can a watch, lot of them are really cool you can watch all of them on their app or even on like your computer, if you just type in V live, so the letter V live, and they have all the episodes on there. Oh, awesome. For and free. it's just for free, huh? Mm-hmm. So I think just like make a, an account or something. You don't even right? have to make oh, an account. There you yeah. go. You got no <laughs> excuses, <laughs> Army. <laughs> you can just sign in. Yeah. And it's so funny. Like some of the stuff, the, the one we watched recently was, um, I mean, it's not super old, but it's not like the newest one. Yeah, it was like They're maybe like challenges, last month. Yeah. Like to basically, they, basically had all the members have to do like a list games. of challenges yeah. How, you said 14? 14 games so 14 mini different games ga- mini games yeah. for them to leave to go home so yeah. they could get out of yeah. there basically <laughs> to like just leave and like that's their prize be done with to it. go their home prize is freedom <laughs> <laughs> so they're like stuck doing all these crazy like funny stuff including like oh man there's just like a lot of Some, funny ones like the thing about these games it's something that you would want to play at a party with your they're friends simple games they're so hilarious they're, it's though. not any, this one was nothing complex or anything no. it's like literally so li- literally one of them was stupid, like like simple they had a trash can and it was placed behind them and they had bouncy balls yeah you know those po- bouncy balls that, that we've all gotten as kids yeah. like in those quarter machines yeah. or whatever so they had to like throw it behind their head and it would have to land inside the trash bin. And then, of course, because it's bouncy, it's going to keep bouncing out. And oh, my God, it took them forever. There's some people, you know what? This that's like if you don't watch any of these, you don't like I said, you don't know how they are. But I've watched enough and I've seen enough, especially with Haley showing me everything. Yeah. Forcing me to watch <laughs> and see everything that in my head, I was like, dude, Jungkook is going to be the one to get these done fast. Uh he is a beast like yeah. he's always so he's literally he's the golden magnet for a reason Re- yeah he's the golden magnet because he's so good at he picks, everything he picks I it can't up believe so it. quickly <laughs> like he'll look at something being done and he's like oh, okay and then he'll do it and he'll get it right i could i couldn't like in my head i'm like my money is on like because i think there's like two halves right i was like in my head i'm like my money if i had to put money my money's on jungkook to like finish the first yeah. set boom of like, course he's like out easy of there. money it's so because he's able to do all these challenges and stuff it's yeah. crazy he wasn't actually the one that got to go home first which is surprising but well, let's but he, not tell you i know we're not just gonna uh, we spoil it so you spoil watch it. it too but then it's funny though because the challenge that he was stuck on he watched it being done once and then he got it right when he finally saw how yeah, like how it what, when it was done. done yeah like he just watched it he was up next he's like i'll try it boom done yeah. they even had like that <laughs> game with the cups where you stack them right so like they had to compete against each other like two on like one on one and then like you have a time limit. whoever wins gets gets the stamp to go into the next one yeah, and all and that then... stuff so like you know who's really bad at this stuff i really had a feeling j-hope is pretty bad at this stuff. J-Hope it's funny because he's super RM. extra rm2 but <laughs> R- X- R- j-hope's like frustrated and extra but I rm know. i feel like is just like chill he's just like oh, oh okay. all right just keep like trying you again. know who else is silly Jin. <laughs> that man oh my god some of the With stuff the ball. there's a bouncing one where like you bounce a ball on into like a, a cup step. but on you have like to like it has like a ping pong ball you have to bounce it on like three like uh steps like in a row yeah. and then landing in a ball in a cup in a cup um, yeah. and uh the ball in a cup at the end oh my everyone finished it except like rm and Jin were left and Jin, they didn't see how everyone had completed mm-hmm. it so Jin is stuck on this because he was actually doing well yeah he gets stuck on this because he puts it all close together yeah and it's like he be- bounces, bounces the it too ball, hard so like, it's like so hard that it goes like he boom, doesn't boom. get it at all yeah. like it's so frustrating and he's like getting frustrated and too. then so he let rm go and then rm like did it maybe like twice and he got it in and then Jin <laughs> is like oh He's not meant to be so bouncing Jin, it so Because Jin was, like, good, too. Like, he was yeah. doing... And then there's, like, other, like, random games where, like, you throw, like, you know, deck from, like, a deck of cards, regular cards, onto into, a like, styrofoam to get like, it stuck stick, there. Yeah. There's, like, a lot of, like, random games, like, they have. And then the second part is, like, um, 
there's like where you have to blow bubbles. Yeah. Like you make bubbles and you just blow it across the room to get it through like a, a hoop. hula hoop. Yeah. And then there's also some weird ring hula hoop game. Yeah. And that was like <laughs> fun to watch them get frustrated it's and like what the hell they had this to is like, like laughing they had to like do their hula hoop at the end and right. like it would fall down and if it fell down they had to restart to start the whole over thing again but it's it's like it's just so entertaining yeah like you can't not like just sit there and the get one bored that was getting super frustrated though was jimin with the bottle of course Haley poor, is sympathetic poor towards jimin. baby <laughs> That bottle one, I was getting. I felt bad for that. That was yeah, frustrating to John watch. Yeah, him and Jungkook were getting like super frustrated because they like killed the first group of like yeah. all the so different they were challenges. The first ones to do they were them. done for like a while, yeah. and they're just stuck on this one bottle game where like you have three bottles upside down, upside down, empty. lined up, and then they're on bottle caps, and you have to hit off the bottle caps. But these three bottles have to, have like, to magically, stay. like after you hit the bottom bottle caps off drop down and have to all three be standing, standing up yeah. still. And they're empty bottles so you know like they're that so easy to fall impossible over. to me. Right. But it's possible. Yes. You'll see That's what how they're saying. Why. They're like this is not possible. Because they were like stuck on that yeah. for a while. Like they're like okay, I'm not all, going home. Yeah all, <laughs> other, all the other members had finished all they their games so they're all crowding. They were like so far mm-hmm. ahead and then yeah everyone caught up so everyone's just trying Taking to turns, figure this out. Yeah. Of course someone got it. Then yeah, John Cook fi- like after he saw the first person get it like like kind of did yeah. his junk cook thing. Yeah, he's like, oh, okay, that's how it. you do Boom. it. Boom. Yeah, he's gone. Done. <laughs> like as soon as he figured it out, yeah. it was so much fun. Yeah. Like, and it's just hilarious to see. There's like a lot going on. Yeah. It's like madness. And that's just like uh, that's because oh, like each episode is maybe like thirty minutes, and then like it's split into two weeks. So that was like week one, and then week right, two would true. be the continuation. So there's like it. a part two. Yeah. So yeah, there's a, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean. There's a lot of stuff getting done. Even the one before this that I remember watching is the classroom one. Oh, Watch yeah, the classroom yeah. challenge one too. That's hilarious. <laughs> Where Jin is the teacher. Jin is the teacher. Oh and my he's God. all getting mad at them. He like, has like a whistle too. He yeah. just blows the whistle out. You, yeah, there's so many different it's things. It's funny. Like, I mean, if you just want something lighthearted to watch and want to laugh, because right. I'm, I'm always cackling at yeah, them. Yeah, you can hear Haley. <laughs> she sounds like a hyena. Just like cackling here in the living room. Yeah. And it's like something you can also just leave in the back while you're like doing other stuff. Like while we're cooking and eating. Yeah. That's what we usually do. But sometimes like when we really want to pay attention, we do actually just sit down and watch it. Yeah. I have to read the subtitles. Right. <laughs> I want to hear what they're saying. I definitely wanted to sit down and watch when it was my girl Jenny. <laughs> they and did a classroom. Blackpink was doing their stuff. Too. Yeah. They have they a classroom, classroom one. one. I think that's like a popular one. But even the Running Man one, epi- Running Man episodes of oh, them that was, was so, so sad. funny. You need to watch that it. That was oh, sad. The haunted, Jenny the haunted house. She was, broke my heart, but I was cracking up at the she same She was time. super baby. She was crying. I know. Thing. She's like crying. And, oh, like going through it. And I was like yeah. laughing. But it's like found a special place in my heart for yeah. that one. So, I mean, just check it out. All these variety shows running so man many. like Run if you BTS, have a if you have a specific k-pop group that you like i'm sure that they an, all have a variety something. show so yeah. like you'll find probably like an nct or yeah like just put nct variety Astro show it'll come up or, mm-hmm. shoot i don't know Shiny, any any all of them have it all of them so check it Twice, out yeah. have fun enjoy it only thing probably not, maybe nothing with espa yet no because they're so, so new. new there's no hasn't been any shows but mm-hmm. soon enough yeah check it out um with that said there's no gaming <laughs> i know you're looking back through. i was like oh there's, there's, there's no gaming this week uh no gaming news so we're automatically going into anime yes anime that Haley like fell in love with mm-hmm. when we first watched mm-hmm. it when a lot of our that? friends That's this is one of the big ago. this is like one of the new big three after <clears throat> you know naruto bleach and it, i mean one piece is still there one piece is like the grandfather yeah and um this is like the new, I guess, the new generation mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of the big three. And what and what is it? Boku no Hero Academia. My, my Hero, Hero Academia. Academia. Yeah. So the reason why we're talking about it is because the newest season, season five, mm-hmm. what we've all been waiting for, yes, for like is finally year. coming. Uh, it's coming in during the spring 2021 anime group which is soon which is soon it starts uh it starts like the first week of april is when the new season of anime is coming for spring 2021 Mm -hmm. and my hero academia is part of that group yes that it's been out for a while yeah thinking about it it is and uh, it's super popular i remember so many people love this show it's entertaining Mm -hmm. and it's a quintessential type of like 
It's exactly what a shonen is. Kind yeah. Of when so, I watched it, I was kind of like in the beginning, I was like, oh, it's kind of similar to One Punch Man. Like the aspect of having like heroes and villains. Right. Because there's like, like licenses a, yeah. and like, you know, that's their job, like mm-hmm. career. But then it's totally different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's a little different. <laughs> um, it's so good. But yeah. So, I mean, like in, the, in this society, uh, it's basically there's heroes and there's villains mm-hmm. and there's actually schools, you know, for kids that with it's called quirks. So quirks. there's superpowers instead of like mutations, like mutants and yeah, like X Men. They call them quirks. It's called quirks, and there's a society where like there's you know there's some people don't have quirks. Yeah, some people are not born with so them. So they're quirkless, mm-hmm. or but there's a lot of people that do have quirks based on like if they luckily just get it yeah, or like their family. parents had it. So yeah. it's it could be genetic or it could just be random too, and um so they kind of hone their skills and if depending on what they want to do in their life a lot of them choose to want to be heroes and different types of heroes Mm -hmm. so they have to go to school and then one of the big schools there is um ua UA. so that's where like the protagonist and a lot of his friends go and the protagonist is actually because i don't want to you should know the story by now should already know but (laughs) basically our protagonist uh Deku. Deku, or Mi- that's his like superhero yeah. name. So Midoriya. Midoriya. Yeah. So he doesn't have a quirk. He was one of those kids born without a quirk, mm-hmm. and like he's, he's a so big fanboy for one of the biggest, like because there's a ranking system, mm-hmm. like we said, the number one. So hero. number one hero is All Might. All Might. So he's always like wanted to be like All Might, and he's like the biggest yeah. fan. All Might like, is nerd. like super like nice. Like he's an idol basically he's like an idol yeah so like he's known globally around the world like everyone loves him super like he's like the epitome of like what a superhero yeah he's super humble and And he's like super strength Mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing super speed uh doesn't i don't believe he flies but he's just so strong Mm -hmm. and powerful that he can like that he's that's why he's strong and it's not just that it's his influence so obviously Midoriya was like growing up as a kid, yeah, big fanboy. He, he has his whole room has like postered up yeah, and like he has toys. like little figures posted. Come to find out that when they got oh, the test from the doctor, he doesn't have a quirk, so he's really he's sad. sad. I remember Haley crying because of that. <gasps> and then when he was like looking at the TV, I still remember and like Deku's eyes are all like watery. He's like, crying. that's okay. He's like, like yeah, don't want to be like yeah, him. And, but he has no power. <laughs> he has no powers. But just because of like I don't know, of course you know shonen anime manga type of thing just magically and miraculously one day yeah meets like all might and then like when all might is not in his like actual form like his super form <laughs> and then you know like all might sees like you know deku's a really good kid and super kind puts himself before everyone else because yeah, he went to save someone right and yeah he was powerless bakugo, bakugo, bakugo yeah yeah bakugo Hachan. who is a big bully to him yeah he's cool now yeah but, like, like, like <laughs> their <total> child <laughs> childhood He's bully childhood Dick bully, friend. yeah. But oh. Deku likes him. And then obviously Bakugo has like some type of relationship with Deku too in yeah, the future. Soft like spot. more like yeah, like respect mm. and kind of cares for him. And um kind of seeing like even though he doesn't have power or anything, puts his like life on the line to just save people. That's mm-hmm. like the type of mentality that, that they All want that they too. like in a hero. I mean, not you have powers, but do you have the thinking and the feelings of yeah. like the type of you know oomph of yeah. like a hero like what it takes to be an actual hero mm-hmm. um and deku or uh, minoria checked yeah. off all those marks for all might yeah. then we find out that all might actually got his powers because it's passed down from generation to generation mm-hmm. and uh trains and uh, chooses deku or yeah. minoria to be, his, like, to be the successor basically. of one for all yeah one or, is it's it all for all one? For one. <laughs> <laughs> one for all, all for one. There's like two different ones. And yeah. then so he gives him the quirk and then slowly tries to, you know, train him and mentor him. Yeah, Deku's still like a child. But so, like, a lot a of growth has go, happened yeah. already. And I mean, we're on season five. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, just kind of start off from there. And you'll see like the progress that's been made. It's crazy. Yeah, it's There's a lot so of good. He's come a lot so of stuff far. Has, has happened. And um, I'm caught up with the manga. Yeah. So... I tell Haley every time I read it, like every chapter, I'm like, holy shit. I'm worried. Oh my God. It makes There's me a lot worried. of crazy shit going yeah. on in the manga right now. So like see when season five comes out, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen. I cannot wait to see it animated. Right. But there's going to be some crazy ass stuff going on. And uh, we got to kind of learn more about like all their quirks and like the spe- like especially Deku's quirk. Mm-hmm. And you kind you kind of also get to see a lot of the predecessors before them that mm. also carried the 
uh, one for all. Uh, mm-hmm. All for one. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, one for all. <laughs> I'm like, which one is it? Yeah, you because know, one for all. Because yeah. all for one person is bad. Yeah. You know, that's like greedy. So I think yeah. that way, the one, one for, for all is one for, like everyone. for everyone. Yeah. yeah, so the quirk that's for everyone. And it kind of goes along that. In season five, we're going to see some crazy, there's some stuff going on. I mean, there's a lot of Can't hardcore wait. fighting, a lot more evil stuff. Yeah, Deku. It gets darker. Yeah. It gets darker. I like, I don't know, like with them for their quirks, how they go to school, you know, and do all that training. And you can see it gradually get better and stronger and stronger. And like this last season, season four, Deku was like freaking OP almost. Kind of. Kind he's of. Not there no, yet. he's not super OP, but okay. he did He did a good job. Guess who's OP? The villains. Yes. The and you'll see very villains. soon enough, like it just it spirals like yeah. this kind of sh- it gets crazy this shit gets crazy um i don't really want to spoil it especially because season five is right around the corner yeah. but expect a lot of crazy stuff like the animation a lot of action s- action jam-packed mm-hmm. like for reals yeah. and you get to learn more about todoroki's family and the background with that the history i Wait, a lot of a lot of speculations right. and a lot of people got it right a lot of people kind of got it wrong a lot of people like think oh, you know back I and know forth what you're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so just watch and check it out. It's gonna be a wild ride. It's a roller coaster. There's a lot for of sure. action in it, especially this season. It's gonna be crazy. So check it out, please. Just keep sticking with it because yeah. it's gonna. It's a good time to get. Into I think it's good Boku too no because Hero. I feel like they they have a lot of characters too that you can choose from. Which one will be like your favorite? I mean, like who's oh, yeah, your favorite course, character? Course. Mine's obviously Deku. Deku. Yeah. Mm, I like um, Eraserhead. Oh, this. Sensei. sensei i always like the sensei like kakashi gojo i mean that's true i've always liked no eraser head is really cool though he's he's like their kakashi basically yeah. if you watch naruto he's their yeah, kakashi he's cool. you watch jujutsu kaisen he's like their gojo <laughs> so i don't know i've always liked the the teachers they're always cool to me they're always cool characters yeah but I if know, you were to choose one of the kids i mean i guess mm, the grape head sticky guy ew really <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I, I like Bakugo. <laughs> oh, yeah, ba- I like Bakugo too. I think he's my like wrecker. If anything, uh, I f- Froppy. Oh yeah, Froppy. <laughs> Team Froppy right She's here. So cute. I like Froppy. So check it out if you haven't watched it. If you're about, to, if you're still stuck with it, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Season five is is right here. Yes. So check it out. Tune in. Tune in to us if you want some more weekly podcast stuff about. Your favorite anime, different K-pop topics. So, animunchies, la at gmail.com. You want to leave a like, please leave a comment or send us anything. Mm-hmm. Show us your love and support. Yes. And we'll keep, we'll keep making these episodes and cranking them out. So, until the next episode, guys, make sure you watch some more Run BTS. Make sure you get yourself some Japanese cheesecake <laughs> and prepare yourselves. Prepare your buttholes for season five. <laughs> buttholes <laughs> prepare prepare your your butt cheeks for don't season, clench them too hard for season five um uh, my hero academia because it's gonna be a roller coaster ride so thank you again for joining us anna munchies podcast we'll see you next time peace peace